Hey everybody, this is uh, Kenny with the Junkie Monkeys and I'm here with Machek with uh, Dying Light. He wants to shed some light on the expansion. <laughs> I know that sounded cheesy. Um, about the following, so what's it all about? So the following is a number of things. First, it's a new story. It's a new map and it's actually bigger than everything we had combined. It's new weapons. Uh, it's, uh, it's a new skill tree. And of course, it's a customizable buggies. Besides buggies, will you include motorcycles as well? Uh, not at the moment, no. But the buggy is pretty cool. You can not only customize how it looks, so liveries and paint jobs, uh, but you know, you can more make it more badass, so it can go faster, have better handling, brakes, stuff like that. Um, and on top of that, if you combine it with your driver skill tree, where you unlock this really cool upgrade, then you scavenge for parts a little bit. Um, and then you can upgrade your car with stuff like a battering ram or a flamethrower or an electric cage or UV lights to fight the nighttime monsters. Uh, that sounds all cool. Um, so this is going to be following the same protag protagonist from the main game? Yeah, yeah. You still play as Cal Crane, but this time around it's a branching story. So the, the story of Rice and GRE, this is done. Now we go the other direction. Um, the premise of the story is that Kyle Crane was lured to the part of the world because he has information about certain group of people who are supposedly immune to the virus. Now, they're not very eager to share this secret with with uh, with a stranger. So your job will be to actually, you know, earn their trust and see what it's all about. I see. I see. So, uh, with the weapons and all the customization in Dying Light already, um, how many new weapons are we going to see, like total? Oh, I can't. I can't give you. I can't give you the, the exact number. Uh, but if you also count the stuff that we're adding in enhanced edition, uh, so whoever else al already has it, he's just gonna get it in the patch. Um, there's over like hundred new looks for the weapons. That's um, awesome. And some like new types of weapons, like new firearms and crossbow and whatnot. That's cool. Um, I like third person points of view would you guys ever introduce that to dying light i mean because you have outfits and you know some people some players want to see their outfits on the characters would you guys introduce that anytime um that's an interesting question i would rather say that we would introduce a way for you to see yourself in the outfit rather than third person view itself because that's kind of what separates us for for different games. You know, we're mainly yeah. FPS. We want to get as immersive as possible. Uh, so I don't want to. You know, you never. You should never say never, right? Never uh, say never. Right. <laughs> um, not that I know of, but um, who knows? Who knows? But at this at this <laughs> point, I say we're we're gonna remain FPS game, but definitely we're gonna we should do something about like you said. People want to see their outfits. That's, that sounds good. That's always good news. So when can we expect uh, Dying Light the following? So it's coming out on all platforms worldwide February 9th. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for the interview, Machek. Thank you for having and, me. And uh, thanks for watching with the Jungle Monkeys. Thanks.